The food here is as diverse as its landscapes. For the first time, I will take you all around Oahu to explore Hawaii's diverse flavors. It looks like it has an Instagram filter on it. It is really popping. Huge portion of azuki beans. Aloha, I'm Sean Kalipone, and this is part one of the All Around Oahu Food Tour. That means we eat food from one part of the island. This looks like it's ready to pop out of the screen from your view. Let me have a bite. All the way to the end. Our last stop here at the end of the island in Makaha. I stay tuned because I have a special guest joining us. She held me like this and said, I know I have a future YouTube star. It wasn't like this, it was like this. <laughs> Are you ready? But before we start, can you hit the like and subscribe button for part two? Okay, now we can go. We are here at the Kuku Sugar Mill and we're gonna check out the Ball Guys food truck. I was told by many locals that I gotta come here. Their dishes and their combos are crazy good. We'll see for ourselves. Let's check it out. Look at this. That's what I'm gonna get, the pan-fried poke. Not only am I gonna get pan-fried poke, but I'm gonna get it with kalbi also. That sounds delicious. Are you ready? During our peak times, your wait may be as long as 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, so uh, I think we came here at a good time. It's around 10, 15 a.m., not busy at all. And that's the time to come because I was told that they sell out rather quickly. Sometimes they're out of food like around noon, 1 p.m. Right now is the best time to come here. I also like the fact that they let us know if something's out. Kind of remind me of McDonald's when I go to the drive-thru and I want some ice cream. And they say that the ice cream is... Anyhow, forget about that. Let's order. Oh, the board with the hat. Oh no, with the glasses. Few moments later. Hello, um, may I have the, the mixed plate of the pan fried pork? I am hungry. Let's eat. Ooh, the Kalbi combo plate with pan fried pork. The furukake crusted salmon with garlic butter shrimp. Mac salad and two scoops of rice on the bottom. Holy cow. I can't eat all this by myself, so I'm gonna have my lovely, amazing, and adventurous wife come join us. This is neat. This is your first time watching. And I think we're gonna try the pan fried poke. Are you excited? I am. I've never seen poke like this before. Poke is a Hawaiian dish, and it's basically sliced raw fish. Someone like me who's born and raised here, who's eaten poke his whole life, I'm excited because I haven't had pan fried either. Let's have our first bite together. Let's do it. Pan-fried poke, it almost tastes like it's pork, not really fish or poke that I'm used to eating. And the sauces really explode in your mouth. I think that's the thing that really takes it over the top. It's like eating a bit of tuna and meat at the same time. It's really funny. This is a really unique way of making the poke. It's kind of eating meat and fish at the same time. And maybe that's why we have a lot of the tourists coming here because it's, uh, I'm sure they're trying poke the original way but this is different and the differentness makes you able to get possibly a Netflix special which is why so much people come here. Now we're going to try some of the kalbi and by the way the kalbi looks I don't think that the sauces or anything caramelized is needed because it looks good and I'll just show you myself. Look at this. No bones just pure tender cow beef. It's basically short ribs, Korean style. One, two, three. I think the meat can just break apart by itself. It is tender, it's soft, and the meat does break down by itself. The cow beef is sweet. It's so good. You can really taste the teriyaki after you eat it. This, the softness and the texture of it is crazy. It's like too good to be true almost. I like the cow beef a whole lot more than the poke. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now there's the art form of putting it all together. How can I forget being a local boy that Max had it is not on the plate? That's what you call putting it all together. You can't just have the offensive lineman. You can't just have the quarterback. When all three are working together, touchdowns are scored. I'm quite happy because I feel really good right now. 
And we're gonna show you the next one, okay? It is furikake crusted salmon with garlic buttery shrimp. We had to add this. It looks too amazing to pass on. It is quite crusty, but on the inside it looks so soft, moist, and juicy. At first this looked like a piece of steak or beef, but this is actually crispy crusted salmon. And it looks so crispy on the outside. Let's go. So when you take a bite into this, you can really taste on the outside how crispy it is. Well, on the inside, when you chew it, you can taste how fresh, tender, and soft the salmon is. What better way to have a salmon than have it cooked perfectly that's so soft and tender with a crispy outside crust with food and coffee and special sauces. <laughs> Did you guys get Yeah, we, we got that too. Yeah, the combo. That was the one we saw that after we ordered. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See? If you come here, you might as well just go all out. So it does cost $16 to have a single dish, and it costs $22 to have a combo. Why not try the combo? For $6, $6 more. $6, but you are allergic to shellfish, so all the shrimps will be for me. It smells so good. You do see all the garlic here, right? Oh yeah, I can tell there's a lot of garlic, a lot of seasoning. And this looks like it's ready to pop out of the screen from your view. It's already peeled off, just ready for you to eat it. Oh, this is a beauty. Let me have a bite. Mmm, this is shrimp heaven. And it looks like they panned it too. It's so good. The butter and garlic melts in your mouth. There's so much garlic. The seasoning is one of my favorite garlic butter shrimps so far. And I didn't even expect the shrimps to be this good because it's not their main focus, but it's, oh, it's so good, guys. It should be called Shrimp Heaven Truck. It's around noon right now and it's very busy. So like I said, try to come here a little bit earlier, but maybe like around 10 o'clock. Sometimes they say from 6 a.m. until full down. Which means come as early as you can. We talked to quite a bit of people today and they're all here because of Netflix. Off to the next adventure and I'll see you guys then. Take care guys. All right, there see you. See you, Phil. Okay, thank you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you guys, videos for me. Yeah. Uh, we will, we will. Yeah, we're filming right now, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah, thank you. We will, we will. Cool, we always enjoy meeting the people that watch our channel. You guys have a good day. Me Thank too. You. Keep making videos. Thank yeah, we're you. We're doing it right now. Then again, you guys are the reason why we can continue to make videos. So thank you. Woo! A 20 minute drive from Kuhuku, heading to Kanyohe. And we're at the Kaya store located in Punulu'u. Just your regular general hygienic store in here, but uh, we're not here for that. And right here is Kaya's kitchen. Fun fact, the ball guy used to be located here. They moved on and as you know, they're super successful. I was told that you guys have the best butter mochi, possibly the best I've ever had. The newspaper. <laughs> Woo! So you know it's good. It's gotta yeah. be good. Here? Oh, you missed out. You sold everything out. Oh, God. She's gonna bring it tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm just, I'm just... This is Auntie Beverly. She's very kind. This is originally your dad's store. Yes. So we had some pictures, you know. Her father started the shop in 1946. This is Matt. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you, Matt. How's it going? It's good. How are you? You come here often? Oh yeah, every day. This is uh, the Ahai omelet with uh, with brown gravy and cheese. It comes with aioli, but I get it with the brown gravy. Usually we don't put this on. <laughs> <laughs> only for him. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. I have to listen to Matt since he looks like a celebrity. You must get it a lot. You look like uh, Bradley Cooper. Oh, really? I never got that. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's a compliment. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice meeting you nice guys. Nice to you too. Nice meeting you. you Have a good day. Hey, thank you, man. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh. Here we are at the Kahana Bay, and this is the Surf and Turf steak and Ahi. The ahi is already cooked with the big portions of steak. I think the steak honestly was 
a little dry, but I do like the portions and the seasoning they put on top with many onions. I thought the ahi was fantastic. Yeah, I think people come here for the ahi. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm really curious about their butter mochi because I've had many, many butter mochis. This almost looks like a crust of a pizza. It's thick, it's nice and crisp too. I've never seen so much detail in a butter mochi before. Okay, now I'm ready to eat. Ready? Go. Mmm. Mm. What a nice chewy texture with a good amount of flavors. Soft, silky, the texture is on point. I love how the outside is crisp and the flavors in the butter mochi really puts the stamp on it. And if you do drive by near the Kualoa Ranch or you're heading into Kahuku or North Shore, definitely stop by Kaya store to get yourself some butter mochi. We'll see you guys on the next one. We are here in Waipahu, known as the Filipino community, and we are eating Filipino food at one of the most popular places here at Elena's. Let's check it out. You actually have to pay first, then go into the dining area. Other places, you dine in, then the bill comes, then you pay for it, but no, no, no. Over here, you gotta pay for it. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, yes, yeah, so and maybe have some utensils too. Pay over here, and you walk out and go over there to eat at the restaurant and sit on table number three, whatever number they assign you. Uncle is a regular customer. What does he recommend? Chicken adobo. Chicken adobo? Yeah, we have it. Oh, the pork adobo is good. We tried that here. We got the December special with a lot of Filipino food. I'm not an expert in Filipino food, but I know someone who is, someone who I'm close to, and someone who's very special. My mom. Hey, Mabu, hi. <laughs> Salamat. So unusual. I look just like her. It's kind of obvious. He should be so blessed. Uh, One thing about my mom is that when she gave birth to me, she held me like this and said, I know I have a future YouTube star. And 11 and a half pounds. <laughs> so it wasn't like this, it was like this. <laughs> hey Bob, so you eat a lot of Filipino food. All the time, that's my favorite um, dish, is Filipino. I think you'd be surprised about how good the Filipino food is here, Mom. Well, we'll see, I'll check it out. <laughs> I've eaten some of her, the Filipino food that she's bought for us, and it was good, but man, it was oily. The pork adobo is, um, is oily, naturally oily, because it's made out of pork belly. My grandma was pretty much full Filipino, right? She had like a, a fourth of Hawaiian and the rest was Filipino. And one thing I remember about my grandma growing up is that she ate true Filipino style. She ate the rice like this. Whoa. Excuse me, not like that. <laughs> yeah, it was. She used the fingers like so. <laughs> oh, we got our food. Can you say drum roll, please? I can say drum roll. Yes, I can. You gotta go, you gotta go drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. He's getting technical difficulties there. <laughs> Whoa! That looks good. Yes, that looks good. Oh great. my gosh. So this is the lichon. Actually, it's lichon. Lichon. Oh, she got the Filipino accent going on. Chicken adobo. It. Chicken adobo. Pancit. Not pancit. Not pancit or whatever. <laughs> pancit down. It's pancit. And this is the fried rice. Pork adobo. This is good because Nia and I had this the last time we came here. And I can tell you right now, this is a winner. So, what did you order, Mom? Whenever it comes wrapped, it's lumpia. But over here, she called it Shanghai roll because it's smaller. I don't know. <laughs> as long as it tastes good, it's authentic, and it stays true to what the wall says. Original family recipes tasting the flavor of our Philippine roots in Waipahu. Because Waipahu is known to be a town where a lot of the Filipinos live. Okay, let's dive in. Look at this thick adobo piece too. Oh, goodness. Oh, and it's steaming. Look at that. Looks good. Okay, let's try. Oh, we got, we got, we got, we got. Three, two, one. 
It's really good. That was nice, fresh, and hot. And they gave you so much. $16.99. Now we're gonna go try the lichon. That is fried pork belly, and it has tomatoes in it. They usually um, mix it with um, patis, which is fish sauce. Like, ready, go. Mm. It's mm. Ready. Mm. Mm. It's really good because the skin is crispy, and that comes from the pork belly. And then you mix it all together like a, like a salad. I want to dive into the chicken adobo. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I love chicken adobo. Yeah, let's get to it. I love that the chicken adobo is really vinegary. I like that. Can I use that word from now on, vinegary? I'm going to steal that word from you. Okay. Mom is describing the food too good, or I think she's going to take my place now. And I'm a little worried now. <laughs> now let's mix it all together. One, two, three. All of that fit in his mouth. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. I used to do that to him when he was little, and I still have to do it, do it to him. Okay. Now there's only one more item on this December special we have to try. Han set. Han set. Han set. Han set. I'm sorry. What kind of Filipino are you? <laughs> Let's try it. Ready? Go. You usually eat it with calamansi. Do you speak Filipino or what? What are the bad words? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Salamat. Speaking of what? That's that's lemon. Karen, you need to give them some. Come to Elena and give them some calamansi from your garden. And Karen, if you haven't subscribed, please do along with everybody else. Much better. I like it. Elena's, they won the award for the best Filipino food for the past couple of years. Oh, they did? Yeah, they got the Hawaii's best. You think it ranks up there or? I believe so, yes. They're very, it's very, very good. I like it. If it wasn't in Waipahu, I would come all the time. <laughs> but we haven't tried yet our favorite treat. And that's the holo holo. I'm telling you, mom, this is the best holo holo I've eaten ever. Well, we'll see, because I love holo holo also. Bam, now we have the holo holo. Like I said, this is the best holo holo I've eaten. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, the last time I eat it here, it was the best holo holo I've had. And we have another holo holo. It looks a little different. The last one I had it has some green on the bottom. The ube, the custard, and the ice cream. Filipinos, they like the color purple. <laughs> that's why me, that's my favorite color purple. You want some? Of course. Mm. That melted right in my waha. That is good. I never had one with that custard in there before. And I need your help, Mom, to get to the bottom. No worries. No worry, beef curry. The jelly is squishy. It's nice, and I think it blends well with the shave ice when everything is a little melted. And Mom said a hollow hollow is only approved if there's coconut strips inside of it. And you know it's a good place if Guy Curry has been here and he's approved of it. Mom is doing such a good job. I think she's going to take over the channel and do her own vlogs. No, I don't think so, but if I ever do, I'll probably have a million views, they call it? Is that what it is? Subscribers, views. million oh. views. <laughs> Subscribers or something. We are here at Jolene's in Eva Beach, and I was told they have many unique items on the menu. This is a thing of beauty. It's also in the Laulani Village Shopping Center. And there's a couple locations, one in Chinatown, the other at the airport, and this one. Let's go in now. I've heard that they have a crazy burger here with fries and a lobster melt. They're quite known for it. Anyhow, just stick around and watch us eat. Ooh, that means our food is ready. Thank you. That is a cute presentation. Well, I'm more concerned about how good the food is, so let's go try that. Merry Christmas to me. Wow, look at this. This thing is alive. It is fat. Juicy looking, it's steamy. This is three burger patties here. You can select one, two, or three. I figure I'm not gonna come here every day. I might as well go all out. So look how thick these patties are. And this cheese is 
melting. Oh my. Are you ready? Let's eat. That was very, very good. Juicy, it's oily, it's tasty. It has all the guilty pleasures you want. So many flavors in the burger. The cheese melts right into the burger, right into your mouth. And I like how the bun is sweet and it's grilled. So you have all this combination here for a nice, messy, oily, tasty burger that's a party. And I'm having a lot of fun eating this burger. The only difference between this and the Paniolo burger we had the Seven Brothers is the fact that that had onion rings and bacon. If you threw onion rings and bacon in here, this would be my favorite burger of all time. If you're a burger lover, you have to come here. You enjoy this butter burger, big boy style. One thing I like about the pickles is that it looks exactly what they put in a banh mi sandwich. I love me some banh mi. And while it's hot, I'm gonna show you the other one, which is the barbecue brisket fries. That looks like a meal in itself. Look at the cheese melting. It's the brisket, cheese, and all the sauces are all stuck together. And that is magical. Let's eat up. Mm. The brisket is soft, it's juicy, and it has a smoky flavor towards it. And one of the things I like, and one of the things I like is that they don't hold back on the fatty parts. The fries are crispy and flavorful. And when you blend this softness with the cheese, the sauce, and the fries, and it makes for some really darn good special fries. The lobster melt right here. I'll give this a try. Mm. It's good. It's very cheesy. You do taste the lobster. I didn't wish that they put more lobster in it. Personally, I love to see the, the big pieces of lobster. The melting part is taking over the sandwich quite a bit. Oh, this piece is so much bigger. This one is way more promising. There's a lot of filling on this part of the sandwich. This sandwich part is way bigger, has way more lobster filling. Let's give it a try. It's way better. And I do taste a bit of the garlic, a lot of mayo, way more lobster taste. Whew, I'm happy. I was being so dramatic about the other piece, but hey, this one is way better. This sandwich costs $20. Is it worth the price? I'd rather spend the $2 and upgrading it to the lobster roll. And to end it off, we have some brown sugar cookie butter boba tea. This looks like sugar heaven. I think I have to open it to show you guys what this looks like. Because it looks really creamy and thick inside. Whoa! Let's try it together. It's like you're eating 20 cookies into one. Eating nothing but the cookie dough. I don't even think that this should be legal because it's got to be 5,000 calories in here. It is really, really strong. It's not for the faint of heart. I have an extreme sugar rush right now. I think we can run to the next place. Let's go. We are here in the Capule area at the El Mariachi Mexican restaurant, but we're gonna head to Cañohi and eat there in my hometown. Let's go. So we just parked here and we're gonna go to the El Mariachi, which is right near Adela's. You know, we did a video on that too. Adela's Country Eatery is Hawaii's only noodle place that uses fresh ingredients in their noodles. It's very unique. We actually take it one by one, like this. We dehydrate it and then uh, crumble it by hand and mix it with the noodle flour. Let's eat some Mexican food. So they ask you to wait outside until they call you in. Look at this place. I feel like I'm right in Cancun or the Yucatan Peninsula. I timed it correctly because I live nearby and every time I jog, I see that this space is busy with a long line outside. So I figure I come around 2 p.m. That's when lunch break is usually done and it's pretty empty right now. For starters, they give you the appetizers of the salsa and these chips. So delicious and crispy, just like how I remembered it last time. And 
the Mexican drink of horchata. It doesn't look like much, but I'll tell you, it tastes so good. It's white rice that's soaked into water with cinnamon and sugar. It's so sweet, it's so refreshing. A friend recommended me to get the Campion Burrito, which is very known as the Champion Burrito. It has everything inside and it is huge. Oh my gosh. By how this smells, I'm sure the inside looks good too. So let's dig in. Let's cut it open and see for ourselves. There's supposed to be steak, cheese, burritos, lettuce, tomato, cilantro. It has the whole nine yards. Oh, the cheese, the burrito, the rice. It's all mixed in together with the guacamole. They have chicken in it too, and it's gonna go all in my mouth. Mm, that was so good and fresh. It's flavorful with the Mexican twist. You can taste all the seasonings, and it's just like how the way a burrito should be, but on a different level. And this is the hot sauce. Quite spicy and you can... Oh, you can smell it. <laughs> Just add some more detail and finesse. Right now we have the carne asada, which is a grilled ribeye steak with fried beans, guacamole, tomato, and rice. And I'm cutting the most juicy and fatty part too. The fattiest part is the juiciest part and the most tastiest part and the most satisfying part too. And the secret is to combine everything all together. True Mexican style, authentic Mexican food here, you can't go wrong. Finally for dessert, fried banana, whipped cream, chocolate syrup, bon appetit. All coupled together, made for a really different kind of treat. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We are here at Alicia's Market. A couple years ago, this is the original location. There was a fire, unfortunately, which closed down the shop, but they opened a couple doors down. So we're gonna go check it out over there. Let's go. All from Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That is awesome. So I was told that you might wanna come when it opens or within the first hour or two, because sometimes they sell out later. It's only open for four hours in. I think that's all they need is a couple hours because it's pretty busy right here right now. So we're gonna order the roast pork along with the wasabi masago poke and spicy ahi poke. Ooh. You know, I do respect it when people don't wanna be filmed, but I tend to like places more when they say yes. Thank you guys. Ooh. Oh, you never saw the missile away in front of you guys? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I was wondering if she was missing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was Miss Hawaii in front of us. Uh, that's okay, I don't, I don't really watch too much. But, uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Let's eat this. I cannot wait. Let's go. Actually, real. Very good. Hi. <laughs> Fly propeller. Looking for sponsors. Come on, Amazon. Hit me up, man. I'm advertising your guys' product for free. I won't do it for too long. This presentation looks amazing. I mean, that roast pork looks like it's, it looks like it has an Instagram filter on it. It is really popping, but it doesn't. This is real life. It's popping, it looks juicy, and it looks really crispy. And this ahi pokey looks crazy good. And I want to taste it right now. Are you ready? Let's go. That is some fresh, flavorful, tasty poke. And the one thing is that I like at the very end, I could taste the spiciness. Whew. The poke is soft, it melts in your mouth, and this wasabi, masago poke looks popping. Well, it's popping because there's caviar on it. Let's eat up. Mm. Oh, that was good. That was very soft, smooth. And I think it's more fine texture because the caviar makes it more of a prestige, more of a classy type. There's so much flavor in here. I think that it needs to be offset with the rice and roast pork. Oh my gosh. This thing looks juicy. 
it looks like it's alive and that skin looks so crispy this is what they're known for this is one of the reasons why we came here three two one mmm mmm Wow, that is the craziest piece of roast pork I have ever eaten. Mm. That juices immediately exploded into my mouth. It was crispy with the skin, and I've never had a roast pork where I felt like there's so much flavors, juiciness, and crispiness all into one piece. That was ridiculously good. Mm. It was so good, I couldn't just sit still. That <sighs> was so good. Sorry, Nam Fung. You guys are amazing. The thing I've tasted in Chinatown so far is from Nam Fung. The duck and the pork is hands down one of the greatest things I've ever tasted. And that was my favorite, and you should still go to Nam Fung if you're in Chinatown. But this is the best roast pork I've eaten. The roast pork and poke are some of the best, if not the best. And there's many other dishes on the menu that the locals recommend. But in the meantime, we're gonna go head over to the west side. Our last stop here at the end of the island in Makaha. And I wanna end it with shave ice here at Mountain Magic Shave Ice. And they have a size called the Monster Size. What's that? Well, I guess you're gonna find out. Let's go. The vibes in here are cool, real local style. Hardly anyone comes here on the end of this island, but uh, I come here because they have good shave ice and good beaches and hikes. Actually, it's called the Big Chungus. Oh, there's a name change. It's called the Big Chungus. Oh, and it only costs $7 too. That's another reason the locals love it here because they have good shave ice and the price is cheap. Oh, we appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bam. Let's go inside and enjoy. Hello. 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 Can we ask them to like and subscribe to Hawaiian Traveler? Yeah. Oh, can you shotgun? That's what I'm talking about. See, look, look how much azuki beans they put on top too. That is a huge, huge portion of azuki beans. Only for 75 cents. The condensed milk is all drenched on top. And all the shave ice is underneath. I'm gonna try some of this honey too with azuki beans because it is popping. And the shave ice is just how I remember it. It's quite soft and firm. I have to say, eating the shave ice here, there's two things that stick out. One thing is that it's really sugary, which I love. And the second thing is that this is the most softest shave ice I've had throughout the island. One more. All right, now off to Makua Beach. So that's it guys. I appreciate you watching this entire video. If there's any other food places you want me to eat at, let me know in the comment section down below. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a dip here at Makua Beach. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Aloha. Stay tuned for part two. Unbelievable. Everybody wanted to hold my baby. And he was three weeks early. Three weeks early. And my arms came out pretty big too. Just naturally like that. So, no, I'm, I'm joking. That's not true. But, you know. You're going to edit a lot of stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah.